In this video, I'm going to answer a question I got online about what foods you should take when you're taking Vitagen to enhance the bioavailability of the nutrients. Now, as everyone should know, uh, one thing you should avoid when you're uh, consuming Vitagym is calcium. So don't take uh, Vitagym with high uh, calcium foods, ProGym uh, being one of them, any dairy products, uh, typically sardines uh, as well. So make sure that the meal that you're consuming Vitagym with is lower in calcium, under about 200 milligrams. Don't, don't worry about it, there's a little bit of calcium in there. Now, as I was saying, your meal. So you definitely want to be taking Vitagym uh, with a meal. But the question is specifically, are there certain types of foods uh, that you should be consuming to enhance the uptake of uh, those micronutrients in Phytogen? And the answer is yes, and it's mainly fat. Now research done on basically fatty salad dressing show that when you consume raw vegetables or salad with a, a high fat containing uh, dressing, it enhances uh, the uptake of mainly uh, fat soluble vitamins. Beta carotene, which is vitamin A. Not only does Vitagen provide 3,000 micrograms of vitamin A, but it's all in beta carotene. Remember, that's important because beta carotene is the non active form of vitamin A. It only turns into vitamin A when your body needs it, that way, it prevents uh, toxicity. The research on fatty salad dressings even showed uh, that increase the uptake of vitamin E. And Vitagen provides 330 milligrams of vitamin E. New research shows how critical vitamin E is for muscle recovery and muscle growth. The dressing also increased the uptake of vitamin C, as well as folic acid. Vitagen provides 400 micrograms of folic acid. And even lycopene which is an important phytonutrient, comes from tomatoes that helps with heart health. Now, if you're wondering what types of fat, it really doesn't matter, but obviously you know that uh, you should be getting in a well-balanced uh, uh, fat composition, if you will, and by that I mean you should be getting a balance of saturated fat. Yes, guys, saturated fat is important. Mono and saturated fat, both of those are critical for testosterone levels in males and polyunsaturated fats, mainly you want to focus on those omega-3 fats. So don't worry about what the fat is, whether it's uh, olive oil-based uh, uh, salad dressing, whether it's butter uh, that you either cooked with or, or added to the plate, or whether it's even coming straight from uh, your meat. Maybe it's a fatty meat like a T-bone, or uh, it's a fatty fish like salmon that also can be the fat that's going to enhance the uptake from those micronutrients in Vitagen. So I hope that answered uh, anyone's questions on uh, what types of foods you should consume when uh, you're taking your uh, multivitamin Vitagen. Remember, you want to be taking it with a meal that's low in calcium and higher in fat. As always, guys, stay gym army strong.